Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about topological sorting and strongly connected components and we'll just give a brief description about topological sorting. Now topological sorting is exactly similar to depth first search except that when we compute the starting time and finishing time which I've showed in my previous tutorial, after computing it, what we do is the, the order that the finishing time is, like the decreasing order of the finishing time, we just uh, we just look at that order, we record that order and show it in a linked list format. For example this, after doing DFS in this in this graph, see um, the starting time and finishing time both are recorded. Now what we do is when each vertex is finished, insert it into the front of a linked list. So the last vertex is inserted into the front of the linked list which is socks. <laughs> socks is inserted first. And then after that, 18, uh, the next, uh, the lowest, uh, the, the next one that comes uh, before, I mean, the next come, one that comes after 18, which is lower than 18, is 16. So uh, we go into a decreasing, we go through a decreasing order of finishing time. So 18, 16, and then 15, 14, and then just, just look at the finishing time, not the starting time. Uh, 15, uh, 15, 14, and then um, 10 and then eight, seven, five, and four. So we just record, we just record the graphs, uh, sorry, we just record the vertices which have <clears throat> the finishing time recorded. So 16, we uh, sorry, 18 we insert first, and then under shorts, which is 16, and then pants, which is 15, and then shoes, which is 14, and then uh, shirt, sorry, and then watch, which is uh, 10, and then sh uh, shirt, belt, tie, and jacket. So just notice the f uh, finishing time and then just see that, just note down the decreasing order of the finishing time and insert the insert all the vertices into a linked list. And this, the running time of this is exactly like BFS, BFS and DFS, uh, which is order of B plus E, which is order of vertices plus the order of edges will give you the running time of this algorithm. So topological sorting is done. Let's move on to strongly connected components. Now strongly, how to find a strongly connected components? Well, it's pretty easy. It's just, again, it's again an application of DFS. What we do is first we, comp uh, we, we compute the DFS of this, of the initial graph. We compute the starting and the finishing time again. And then after that, we note down the, rec we note down the order of the starting and the finishing time and the decreasing order like first 16 15 14 like the like the same thing we did with topological sort and then after that what we do is we just compute dfs on the transpose of this graph what does that mean transpose meaning we just we just uh, like all the arrows are then pointed to the opposite of what were what they were in the previous position so th this graph the transpose of g gt is just the opposite arrow graphs of the previous graph. Like all the arrows are just inverted, inverted from their original position. So let's start doing this. Well, here it started, here the whole graph, the DFS was computed from taking C as the source node. But we will take, uh, we'll just start from A, like if I'm showing you the walkthrough by myself, then I'll just start from A. Okay, so from here, okay, let me change the color. Okay. Okay, so we start from A. So one is the starting time, two, three, four, five, and then there's no more outgoing edges from H. So six, seven, and then there's one outgoing edge from C, so eight, and then nine. And then there's no more outgoing edge from F. If you wanna know how I am computing the finishing time and starting time, then please check out my DFS traversal video, which I'll link it below. And uh, well, for now, just uh, bear with me while I'm computing, uh, sorry, while I'm, while I'm finishing this uh, DFS traversal. Okay, so from nine, uh, then we start computing finishing time so 10 and then 11 and then 12 then from B there's one outgoing edge here 
So 13, and then 14, 15, and then 16. So this is the starting and the finishing time uh, computed for this graph, graph G. And then this is G transpose. Okay, after we were computed the starting and the finishing time, we note down the corresponding uh, corresponding vertices for this. So 16 is the largest. So A and then B and then uh, and then it's E. Okay, and then after that is 14 and then after that is 12. So C and then 12 then 11. So G and then F and after that is D and H. Okay, so we noted down the order. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16, blah, blah, blah. You just compute the, I mean, you just put it in the order of the decreasing order of the finishing time. Okay, now what we do is we just do DFS traversal here on this transposed graph of G. What, what does transpose mean again? We just invert all the arrows from the original graph. Into, uh, yeah, we just invert it. That's it. Okay, so we start from A. Like we just, now we, what we do is we maintain this order. We start doing DFS traversal following this order. So we start from A. Okay. A. And then, uh, no, here we're not supposed to compute the finishing time and start time. Here we're just supposed to do DFS traversal. So A, E, and B. Well, after A, E, and B, well, we can't, it forms a circle. I mean, it forms a cycle. So uh, you can't, I mean, you can't go from, you can't go from B to any other edge. So A and B is one, one component, one strongly connected component. And then we just go from C. Now we just do the next one in line, which is C. So C, uh, C and D. After that, from D, we can't go anywhere. And from C, we can't go anywhere either. So this forms a cycle again. So this is one, another strongly connected component. Now we go from G. We start from G. So G and F forms another strongly connected component. And we can't go from, uh, because it forms a cycle again, and we can't go from anywhere from G because if we go to C, C is already selected, so we can't go. C is another component altogether, and when one is already visited, we can't go to that again. So G, uh, so from G to F, we can't go anywhere else. Also B, B we can't go either because B is also selected, and B is another component, and B is already visited. So like I said, in DFS, what do we do? We don't visit the visited ones again. So uh, yeah, we just, uh, so G and F are unvisited. So G and F are on the only con component here. And what remains is H. So H is one strongly connected component. So what we can infer from, infer from here is that this whole thing is one component. And then this one is one component. And then this one is one component and this one is one component. So these four are strongly connected components. So yeah, this was the tutorial for strongly connected components and uh, topological sort. And I hope you understood uh, my explanation. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like this kind of videos, my tutorials. And well, thank you for watching. Good luck.